All right, so we're going to start looking at uh, solutions to some of these equations, or some of these problems, I should say, involving equations. This, this video will approach the uh, uh, solutions to the, page, the first page, equations of lines. Uh, I was suggesting to you here that in these problems are um, should have been low-level computation, okay? Uh, more thought problems, and now you might see a lot of uh, computation there, but that's in an effort to explain some things, okay? So as we know, number one, this, this uh, line is in the form ax plus by equals c. That's called the standard form. If we solve that for y, uh, then, then you can see the coefficient of x will end up being negative a over b, which is, in fact, the slope. So, in this instance, in, in this form, you don't have to change the form. You can just identify a as 3, b is negative 2, take their opposite ratio, and that's the slope. And, of course, the slope of the perpendicular would um, be uh, 2 thirds. Uh, Number two, you have everything you need to find the equation of the line. The slope, negative three-fourths, and the y-intercept. So there you have it. Uh, find the equation in number three, uh, parallel to the y, to the x-axis. Parallel to the x-axis will always be y is equal to something. In this case, y is equal to negative two. And the undefined slope is a vertical slope, okay? Or which is, of course, a vertical line which will always be of the form x equals something, in this case x equals negative 3. Number 5, uh, parallel to the said line implies it has the same slope. So again, uh, using our, our uh, slope formulation over here, uh, the opposite of a over b here is negative 2 over negative 5, which is 2 fifths, so 2 fifths is the slope. Uh, 0, negative 7 is the y-intercept. There's your equation. And number 6, the equation passing through these two points. Well, one of the points, 0, 6, is a y-intercept point. Using the two points, we find the slope y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That ends up being 2. And therefore, we have the slope and the intercept. We have the equation of the line. Um, uh, we reference uh, number seven to this figure, this picture over here. Uh, an inclination of 45 degrees is uh, is a line of the form is a line with slope y equals one. Now, um, so if it's if it's a line with slope one, a slope of one, and it's passing through the y-intercept of negative two, there's your equation. Uh, there's also, you know, we might give you problems where you have the inclination of 30 or 60 degrees, which if you will remember your 30, 60, 90, or 45, 45, 90 triangles, you'll be able to identify the slope there. Okay. Um, number eight is uh, symmetry. We'll, we'll address this in greater concern here, but symmetry simply says if we take any point, in this instance, A, B, and we replace it with uh, the opposite of a, b, okay, we are effectively taking our equation, our graph, and flipping it across the y-axis, therefore making it symmetric on the y-axis, okay? So that's the suggestion there, and simply doing that replaces x with its opposite, gives you y equals 2x plus 6. Uh, number 9, the point of intersection between <laughs> a parallel and a, a parallel line, I'm sorry, the point of intersection between a horizontal and vertical line is what you're looking at there. There's, it doesn't even warrant that much discussion that I'm giving it right now, okay? Um, all right, the, the uh, x and y intercepts here are nice to find because to find the x intercept, you just let the y term disappear, okay? So I just let that disappear, the y term. And I've got 3x equals 12, uh, so the x-intercept is uh, 4. Uh, the other way around, if I let uh, x equals 0, I'm solving for the y-intercept, which is 3.